Hi, my name is Jordan Klebnoff. I'm an OBGYN resident at Christiana Hospital, and welcome to this week's episode of Pocket Pearls. So today on Pocket Pearls Pondering Preeclampsia, I'm here with Dr. Emily Eck and Dr. Vicki Greenberg, and we're going to talk about magnesium sulfate for seizure prophylaxis. So as we all know, preeclampsia and hypertensive disorders affect about 10% of pregnancies worldwide. Over the last two decades, that number has increased by about 25%, making it still a leading cause of maternal and perinatal morbidity and mortality. So I think Emily Act has some questions for us today. Yes. So once I have diagnosed um, preeclampsia with severe features, how do I prevent a seizure? So you give magnesium sulfate with a four gram loading dose, and then you continue at two grams an hour. So when is it safe to stop magnesium? So since most women are at highest risk for seizure 24 hours after delivery, we'll generally continue magnesium sulfate for 24 hours postpartum. So are there any exceptions to these rules? So exceptions to the rule are women with kidney disease receive less magnesium. They receive one gram an hour. Women with pulmonary edema typically do not receive uh, magnesium because it can worsen it. Women less than 32 weeks receive a loading dose of six grams of magnesium to double as seizure prophylaxis and to protect the fetal brain. Do all women with preeclampsia get magnesium? In general, at this hospital, not all women with preeclampsia get magnesium sulfate. We tend to only treat women that have severe preeclampsia or preeclampsia with severe features with magnesium for seizure prophylaxis. Takeaway points from today's video are that in general for seizure prophylaxis, we start a four gram loading dose of magnesium sulfate followed by two grams per hour. There are special circumstances where that's not so. So women with pulmonary edema generally don't get magnesium. If they're gonna deliver before 32 weeks, we use a six gram load followed by two grams per hour. And if they have kidney disease, we generally want run a one gram load per hour or one gram maintenance infusion per hour. And generally we stop magnesium sulfate 24 hours following delivery. So today, so yeah, so so when is it safe? So since most women, so so exceptions to the rule, magnesium. So in general, so some, so in general, so you start. I know. Go back. We do it again. So so. <laughs> so.